Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and in this video we're going to talk about multiplication uh, by 1, 10, 100 and 1000. Right, so what I'd like us to talk about and learn in this video is to be able to multiply by 1, 10, 100 and 1000. I'll show you um, how these multiplications work and I'll also towards the end show you ways of doing these slightly more quickly. Right. To start with, what I'd like you to do is take a second and with your calculator work out the answers to these 12 questions. I'll show you them in uh, 10 seconds and I'd like you to look at the, question, the answers afterwards and also have a think to yourself, can you spot what I'm trying to show you? Okay, here are the answers uh, to those questions. And I wonder if, just looking at those answers right now, right in front of you, do you have any idea what I was trying to demonstrate to you um, in those questions? Well, um, if you'll notice, um, let's get the highlighter. If you'll notice here, all the same, I was doing a multiplication in both sets of questions, okay? So that's a a fact. I was doing a multiplication in both sets of questions and I was multiplying it by 4, four uh, and various combinations of 43 etc. Now uh, uh, 43 and 4.3 and 430 and that type of thing. Now when I multiply um, by anything like 1s or 10s or 100s I always get the same digits back in my answer. So when I multiplied 4 um, by 10, I got a 4 in the answer. When I multiplied 4.3 by 100, I got a 4 and a 3 in the answer. When I multiplied 43 by 1000, I got a 4 and 3 in the answer. And look at the similarity in those answers there. They have the same digits. The answer has the same digits as uh, what I multiplied by 1, 10, 100 or 1000. However, in these questions here, the digits are different. Okay, when I multiply by 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6, I get totally different digits. Except for when I multiply by 1. And if I multiply by 1, I get the exact same answer as, as the number I multiply by 1. So what I'm trying to show you here is that it's very special when you're multiplying either by 1 by 10, 100 or 1000. Multiplying by those numbers is quite a special event because you get the same digits in your answer as the a number you multiplied by 1, 10, 100 or 1000. And that's really special. With any other number, when you multiply a, a number by anything, um, any other type of number that isn't 1, 10, 100, 1000 or, uh, or a multiple of 10, you don't get the same digits and that makes it easy to multiply by these numbers and easy for us to do. Let's just formalise some of these ideas. Um, if I'm multiplying by 1, um, this is something that most students know. 6 multiplied by 1 is clearly 6. 63 multiplied by 1 is 63. 6.3 multiplied by 1 is 6.3. And 6300.12 multiplied by 1 is 6300.12. So 1 is a really special number. When you multiply any number by 1, you get the same number as an answer. So 43 multiplied by 1 is 43, and 1 multiplied by 4.55 is 4.55. That's really special, and it's something you need to remember. Multiplying a number by 1 gives you the same number back. There's a special word for this in case you're interested, okay? It's called the multiplication, or multiplicative, maybe is the big word for it, identity. And by that... It's a special word, you don't really need to know it for your GCC, but it's interesting. It's called the multiplicative or multiplication identity, and it's just saying that 1 is this special number that if I multiply any other number by 1, I get the same answer back. Okay, so that's multiplying by 1. Let's move on to multiplying by 10, 100, and 1,000. So, here's our question, 6 multiplied by 10. Now, a lot of pupils know that the answer to that is 
60. 6 10, 6 multiplied by 10 are 60. Let's see what's going on with the place value to see if we can get an idea to generalize. 6 is 6 ones. Okay, so I'm going to write the number it originally was uh, in the original question here. And then um, what happens to get 60? Well, the 6 in the 1s column, 6 1s, if you multiply that by 10, you now get 6 10s. And so therefore the 6 is now in the 10s column. Now that number doesn't make sense as it is, although it's 6 10s, we need a place value holder um, in place here to pop it in like that to, to show that the number is actually 60. So we put a zero uh, up until the decimal point um, in order to show that there are no ones as well. Okay, let's try another question. Right, so we're doing 6 multiplied by 100 here. Now, students would know that 6 multiplied by 100 is actually 600. Let's see what's going on with the place value. We had 6 ones. 6 is 6 ones, okay? As follows. And to get the answer 600, we move the 6 uh, one space, two spaces to the left, so it's 6 hundreds. And we would put two place value uh, zeros in here, holders in here, to show that we have no tens and no ones. So the answer is 600. So looking back, when we multiplied by 10, we shifted to the left by one space. When we multiplied by 100, we shifted the digits left by two spaces and put in the place value holders, obviously. And here we're doing 6 multiplied by 1,000. So we would guess that when we multiply by a thousand, we shift left now by three spaces. And indeed, we know six multiplied by a thousand is six thousand. And let's see that going on in the place value. We have six ones originally, and the six moves one, two, three places so that we have six thousands. And you put in one, two, three placeholders here for no hundreds, no tens, and no ones. So the answer is. 6,000. So we can generalize and get a, a, a rule for ourselves. And when we're multiplying by 10, we move the digits one space to the left. When we're uh, multiplying by 100, we move the digits two spaces to the left. And when we're multiplying by 1,000, we move the digits three spaces to the left. So let's use that idea to do the following questions that are slightly more difficult. 59 multiplied by 100. Now 59 is, 50 is 5 tens, and 9 is 9 ones. So that's how the number originally was, 59. And we're multiplying by 100, so we've learned that that's moving the digits two spaces to the left. 1, 2. And we put in our place value zeros here, and the answer must be 5,900. Okay, let's try another one. Example 5, 5.9 multiplied by 1,000. So 5.9, well, what does that mean? That's 5 ones and it's 9 tenths. Okay, so we've got 5 ones and 9 tenths. Now we're multiplying by 1,000, so the digits are shifting to the left by 3. 1, 2, and 3. And we put our place value holders in here, a 0 here and a 0 here, and the answer would be 5,900. Let's do another one. At 0 0.59 multiplied by 100. Well here we have no ones and we've got 5 tenths and we've got 9 hundredths. Okay so there, that's our original number 0 uh, ones, 5 tenths and 9 hundredths. We're multiplying by 100 so we're shifting to the left and we're shifting by two spaces. So 1 and 2. So this is telling us we've got no hundreds, 5 tens and 1 9, and 5 tens and 1 9 are 59. And we can drop this 0 here, it's of no use uh, to us, um, so we just say the answer is 59. Right, one more, 0 0.003, so that's telling us that we've got 0 ones, we've got 0 tenths, we've got 0 hundreds, and we've got three thousandths. And we're multiplying by 100, so the digits, 
So I'll just put the original number there. The digits are shifting two places to the left. One and two. So the answer is zero hundreds, zero tens, zero ones and three tenths. Now we can drop that um, hundred, we can drop that ten. We tend to leave the zero here when we have a decimal um, and drop all the zeros before it. It's just convention. So the answer to this is actually zero point three. Okay then, so what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to try these nine questions using the chart I've created for you and uh, multiplying by 10, move left by one, multiplying by 100, move left by two, and multiplying by 1,000, move left by three. In 10 seconds, I'll show you the answers. Okay, so the answers are as follows. I showed the original number and I also showed the movement of the digits and the place value holders. So hopefully that made sense and you could get those questions right. Okay, so that's all very well and good if you've got these nice little place value grids, but actually most of the time you don't have that. So what are you going to do in those scenarios? So let's do some questions without a grid. 4, 3, 4 multiplied by 100. Now I would do some separate working just to make sure you get this right. The beauty of multiplying by 10, 100 or 1000 are the digits stay the same. So you know the answer for sure will have 4, 3, 4 in it. And it will have a, a decimal point. Now what I would tend to do is I would tend to put, I would put some place value holders underneath just so I uh, can make sure everything's going uh, correctly into the right place. So 434 multiplied by 100, the 4 has to shift two spaces to the left. So it wouldn't be there, it would be one space, two space, it would be here. And the 3 and the 4 would clearly be here. And I'd put my 0, 0 to make up to the decimal point. So the answer here would be 43,400 in this case. So we can do it by basically making a quick version of the grid. Let's do another one. Uh, 5.7 multiplied by 1,000. So do some work in write 5.7 first and put your decimal point down here. The beauty of this question, uh, put some place value holders here, one, just like that. Multiplying by 1,000 will move the digits three spaces to the left. So um, therefore the 5 will move from here to hit one space, two space, three space, the five goes there, the seven goes there, and you put zeros in here. The answer is 5,700. And let's do another one, 0 0.34 multiplied by 100. So I would write a little bit of work in 0 0.34 here. I would put my decimal point down here, and I would uh, do some uh, place value holders there, 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 maybe there and there. Now the three would move two spaces to the left here, uh, the zero would move two spaces to the left, so zero, uh, one space, two space, the zero would go there, the three would go there, and the four would go there. But in my final answer, don't write the zero, this answer is just 34. And let's do one more, a 0 0.0012 multiplied by 1,000, so write down 0 0.0012, put your decimal point under here as working, and maybe put some uh, lines here like this, just so you can track the movement of the digits. And um, what I might tend to do here is just focus on where the one goes. So the one is going to go three spaces to the left. It's going to go in one, one space, two space, three space. The one would go here and the two would clearly go here. You wouldn't bother writing your zeros. The answer clearly is 1.2, one whole and two tenths. Okay, so have a go at those questions using that method there and without a grid in front of you. Okay, hopefully you got the answers to these. Here are the answers. So hopefully you found this video a tutorial useful in multiplying by tens, one hundreds and thousands. Tune in again soon and the next video will be on dividing by the same numbers. Thanks very much for watching.